How are you guys doing today? So today we're actually going to talk about the AEM water methanol injection kit. Water methanol kit is a 50-50 mixture between methanol and water that gets sprayed into your intake. So with the water methanol kit, you can actually cool the intake charges coming in and the methanol portion of it, it will increase your octane level to above 100, which allows you to run more boost, more timing, more power. Water methanol injection kit will actually help keep your valves clean. It's almost like steam cleaning your engine every time water meth is actually sprayed in through your intake tract. So with the direct injection engines, the most common issues that people have is that the carbon deposits get caked onto the top of the valves because there's no injectors actually firing fuel at them like the old style MPI engines. So having water methanol injection in your car actually can help upkeep your vehicle a lot better. Okay, so this is a pretty simple system. So all you have to do is fill the tank with 50-50 methanol and a water mixture. The controller actually detects the boost level of when it wants to start spraying and when it wants to go full. So it is a progressive controller. So it starts small and goes to a full, uh, goes to a full flow depending on your settings right on the dial. So the start PSI could be set anywhere from looks like one all the way to 11. And you're looking at the full PSI of five all the way to 35. So you and your tuner will have to get together and figure out what will be the best setting for your particular vehicle. With many of the new products, they don't include instruction manuals in the box. They're actually on their website in their PDF form. So I actually have it open right here on my phone. So if you look here, you can actually go through and they'll tell you exactly how to install and use the product. EM kit comes with three different nozzle settings, 250 cc, 500 cc, and 1000 cc. And they have recently updated their design. So this is their V3 nozzle. So for those of you that haven't seen this before, let me take it apart and show you how it's built. Okay, so there are a few parts to this. So the nozzle actually divides up like this. And AEM says you need to figure it out on your own. No, not really. They actually say it on the instructions how this goes. Um, these little plastic white pieces, they are what determines the flow. So if you look in here, in this little Ziploc bag, they give us two more. So it's not a metal nozzle like the old ones. It's actually these little plastic pins, if you want to call them. I don't even know what to actually call them. So on top, there are different patterns that determine the flow rating of these little plastic nozzles they give you. So you can actually take a look at the differences, compare them to the instruction manual, and it'll tell you what they are. Um, the 250 cc is pretty easy to spot because there's literally four spots on top. So that's 250. But when it comes to 500 and 1000, it looks very similar on top. So another easy way to take a look is look at the bottom. If there is a little divot on the bottom, that's 500. If it's completely flat, that's 1000 cc's. So. That's an easy way to look at it. So for when you determine what CC you want to use for your vehicle, AEM actually has a nice chart in their instruction manual. So make sure you take a look at that. I'm going to show you how this go back together. So you pick the nozzle you want. Spring. Filter. Okay. Now we're going to slide this right in. Make sure everything sits good. All right. Now, next is this white piece. Make sure the black insert is facing outward. Make sure to seat this rubber gasket in there properly. Okay. Drop that right in. Next. This is the connector that connects to the methanol line where the rubber gasket is what goes into the nozzle. So we're gonna put that there. Make sure you pick up your pin, grab your pin, push it down, slide the pin in place, and there you go. That's it. See it? Okay. 
Once you're done, make sure you put these plastic nozzles back in the bag and store it somewhere safe in case you do want to change the nozzles down the road. A lot of the things we talked about today doesn't actually apply just to AEM methanol kit. So you can actually choose different brands. If you go on our website, we sell AEM, Devil Zone, Snow Performance. All three of them are great companies. Um, they're priced at different ranges. So you take a look at it, make the decision yourself. So they also make water methanol injection kits for non-turbo vehicles. It will just tap into the map signal and read the voltages to know when you're actually going full throttle on the vehicle. And you will get all the advantages that the turbo guys get except obviously you can't turn up the boost so you'll still enjoy the cooler intake temperatures it'll also clean your intake tract and also bump your octane level up so your tuner can tune for it and still get you pretty good horsepower gains out of it whether you have a turbo vehicle or a supercharged vehicle or a naturally aspirated v10 water methanol is definitely recommended for you Please like and subscribe, and we'll be back next week with more content. Thank you.